Who's out there, man? This is the Motor Rush Bermuda's only energy station. Vibe with the boy DJ Chubb. Inside right now, man. Things called fitness for people in a hurry. Blessed as usual. I had a good weekend, and I hope everyone is good as well. But yes, Chubb, most definitely. This this topic is very interesting because it's a contentious issue depending on who you're speaking to. Uh, you know, um, I will put myself in the crew of people who love meat, but I, I cannot deny that uh, the vegetarian lifestyle has some amazing benefits because I, I have tried it already. <laughs> Yep, so um, there are pros and cons, but the cons are not like terrible um, for for both sides, to be honest. But vegetarians are vegans versus everyone else. No, just get into the meat of, of the matter. Uh, first thing first, the definition. Um, a, a person, a vegan, is, is a person who does not eat meat and sometimes other animal products. No, okay. yep, that, no, that that is a is an umbrella. Um, I guess term because there's there's a vegan and then there's there's a lacto vegan. Lacto vegans are people who eat cheese, milk, eggs, etc. So they're kind of cheating. They're, <laughs> they're not fully committed, but but they they're predominantly eating healthy. I think that the major seal or ticket for anyone to take away from this entire conversation is that predominantly eating vegetables, fruits, etc. are uh, nuts, um, seeds is extremely healthy for you in terms of getting your minerals and your nutrients so that if for if you take out take away anything from this conversation please let that be it <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yep no no it's not a debate these are facts these are is facts is facts that that vegetables and being a vegetarian is very healthy uh Oval vegan people eat eggs. Pescatarian, Chubb. We we know these people. They eat fish. And flexitarian, that's my favorite one, is hilarious. These are people who tend to predominantly eat vegetables, but when they get an opportunity uh, opportunity to eat meat, they go right ahead and eat. <laughs> like, like Christmas time. Like, oh, yep. you know, I don't eat pork like you do Christmas can. You know, hey, I mean, the smell filling up the room. Just. <laughs> Yeah, just flex and a flexitarian. <laughs> so basically, those are the overarching um, areas of, of being a vegan. You can pick those ones that, that suit you, suit your lifestyle, and go for it. Always speak to your doctor. Now, the pros of being a vegetarian or vegan, you um, suffer from less inflammation. So like basically, when you eat certain types of food, you your body responds to it by creating some inflammation to respond to if, if it's a negative response. So sometimes if you eat certain types of meat, if you eat certain types of, um, of food like flour, etc., for some people, they get bloated. That that's, that's sometimes as a form of inflammation in your body. Sometimes your joints hurt, etc. Now, if you reduce the amount of, of meat, there are certain types of meat, you can actually see less inflammation being formed. So your recovery technically could be faster, could be faster. So that's one benefit. There's a, um, of course, because of that inflammation in terms of um, um, buildup in your arteries, et cetera, there's a reduced risk of certain types of diseases as well. So that you can keep that in mind. Um, you may increase your it may increase your food variety, Chubb. So um, people out there that said, "Oh, I don't know if I'm gonna just eat grass every day." No, <laughs> like, no, exactly. Exactly. You you have your beans, your legumes, your your fruits, your nuts, your seeds, your grown provisions, your fruits. So many different colors, so many different options, so many different seasonings that you can use. Um, that basically you can use different oils as well. Just flavor your food. 
to perfection. Salt and pepper never go wrong. Find the perfect balance and you, you will definitely find a, a larger food variety. Definitely, definitely the big seal ticket for most people is an improved weight control. Now, some people go vegetarian and vegan for several different reasons. Some for moral reasons, some for religious reasons. Um, and uh, some people just want to help the environment. That, that helps to some extent as well. But ultimately, I, um, it, it definitely helps with refining or reducing your weight. So basically, typically when you chop out one major food group, in this case meat, out of your diet, that's a huge amount of calories that is not accessible to you. <laughs> so, so yeah, definitely. So um, everyone, uh, regardless of, of your nutritional options, and we say it several times, um, but being in a caloric deficit typically leads to weight loss. So when you go to an event, when you go to a restaurant, etc., and you only have XYZ that you can order from the menu, uh, it's, it's clear to see that you possibly lose some weight towards the end of 2020 if you decided to go vegetarian immediately. Yeah, your food options, although you have to do some more research, you have to speak to speak to some more people, you might have to prepare your own food, but definitely that is one of the, the outcomes, improve weight control. And uh, yeah, you get a complete nutrition with the exception of one vitamin. So I'm going to go straight into the cons right now. Uh, vitamin B12. So typically you get your healthy fats from avocado, your vitamins from different fruits and, and minerals, salt, magnesium, antioxidants, anti-inflammatory foods. But vitamin B12, this basically is, helps um, with the building blocks of your DNA and red blood cells. So very important stuff. <laughs> we need vitamin B12 and typically it is in high concentrations in meat and in red meat in particular. No, no, what, what we can do is simply just get a, uh, a supplement. Like, um, because the reality the situation, if you're a vegetarian, you can just the same way that you get um, omega-3 capsules or whatever the case may be over the counter, you can simply just go to any pharmacy and say, hey, I would like your B12 supplement and take that. And you might actually, that vegetarian might actually be better off for taking that supplement than the person who's trying to eat meat. Because, yeah, yeah, you're definitely getting in the adequate amount of um, supplements for that entire month. So that is one of the cons. The second con is possible um, nutrient deficiencies, Joe. Now, uh, you, because you're, you're um, avoiding certain food groups and because people mix, typically mix their meat with their <laughs> meat with their carbs, etc., when they're serving you food, you are immediately um, on the sharp end of the stick when it comes to offers at, at socials, at parties, whatever the case may be. So that is one of the challenges there that you have to speak to a nutritionist, a doctor, about making sure that you get adequate amounts of um, nutrients in your diet. Uh, f fewer food, uh, food choices, we just touched on that. Reduce um, satiety or satiety. Now, again, fancy word, it just means that you have to eat more frequently because you'll be hungry. Typically, you'll be hungry more often. <laughs> yeah, than not. It, yeah, that, and that is, that is one of the major issues for most people. And that was, one of, that was my major issue as well when I went vegetarian, very briefly. When I went vegetarian, I was like, hey, I feel great, but I am hungry all the time. <laughs> Okay, so just a, and again, everyone, this is just my personal journey. What I what I did was I went on it for, for the goal was to go on it for a month. The first week, I ate whatever I felt like eating. Once it was not um, meat, so once it was not, yeah. So I I enjoyed myself. It, there was yeah, as exactly. there there was some 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 um, some Oreos in there. <laughs> Hey, yeah, ex exactly. I ate copious amounts of non-meat um, food, and then the second week, when when my my demand for so certain types of food kind of dipped or diminished, uh, it, uh, and eating um, veg vegetables was more so normalized for me. I I slowly started to control my portion sizes, and uh, then I got into a, a normal, healthy routine of meal prepping, um, analyzing different healthy food options in my environment, going to the specific supermarkets and restaurants. So I, I became slightly wiser as the weeks rolled by. 
But yeah, jumping in on the deep end, I just ate whatever I felt like eating so that I didn't go. But but that that's another one of my points here, Chubb, in terms of the cons. Eating eating vegan is not necessarily always healthy. Like there's so many meal there's so many replacements. And again, everyone um definitely hit up these guys. Um Scott Scotty um holistic fitness and yeah, and uh, Jania Align BDA on um, on Instagram. I, I was inspired by a conversation they had last night. It was very informative, very good. Um, and I'm pretty sure that Align BDA, she's going to put it up on her Instagram. But definitely what, what I wanted to go back to is um, basically it's not always healthy. Like literally you can go and eat um, tons of flour, tons of pasta, and uh, that stuff might just be, it'll be broken down into sugar essentially and you will you will end up gaining weight um which might not necessarily be your ultimate goal so correct 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 so and also um you might be exposed to a lot of chemicals as well because typically depending on which um, farmer you go to which type of food you you eat um, a lot of stuff is definitely sprayed down with lots of stuff to keep off the the natural elements natural the yeah. pesticides etc so that's some of the, some of these things that you got to kind of keep in mind realize that um this this thing that is called life we will ne never get through it without being unscathed so if you want to thoroughly enjoy yourself and eat protein eat meat just make sure that you complement it with adequate amounts of vegetables get in um all of your food groups all your minerals all your vitamins uh definitely check in with your doctor make sure that you don't have any insane deficiencies and definitely definitely dispel all negative um all negative associations that you had with the vegetarian lifestyle vegans are not necessarily exactly exactly and again the major takeaway which i want to tell people vegans are not necessarily like weak or they don't have endurance is typically is the, is the opposite um however if your goal is aesthetics and becoming really really um thick and muscular you definitely might want to consider um supplementing heavily with protein shakes if you're a vegetarian or um if you're definitely um considering the vegetarian lifestyle you might actually lean up as a result of going that route. So if that's your ultimate goal, that's one thing to consider. And Chubb, that is, that is it. That is I'm it. I'm talking about Jermaine here on Black and Green Monday from Friday. She finds it's all about fitness for people in the hurry. You heard, you heard in the tips to help you out. People, and if you have any more questions or anything of the sort, Jermaine, just tell people where they can find um, these, um, these great um, topics and conversations. Definitely, everyone, you can find us at hindsightfw.com. Hindsight with two S's um, in the language of my last name. Hindsightfw.com. Definitely on Instagram, Facebook, and YouTube. We love these conversations. And uh, definitely have an amazing week. Hindsight, how you feeling? Good. Good. <laughs>